It's the 25 Days of Christmas Meal Show! Tw a 25 day long extravaganza of Christmassy proportions and Schmeal Show isms! What's the Christmas Schmeal Show, you ask? Well, you know, it's a, it's a show, so uh, just, just enjoy the show, you know what I mean? And also, it's Christmassy! There's all kinds of Christmas things happening! In fact, I think I see Santa Claus right now! It's amazing! Quick, look! Hurry! Oh! Oh, you just missed him, but hey, that's okay. Around this time of the year, fat, balding, magical men just seem to be lurking about. I'm sure we'll see one again soon. Just keep your eyes open, kids. Ah, uh, today, I want to talk to you all about the way our holidays and traditions connect us together. And why that's important. You see, in this modern digital age, technology has a way of somehow making us more isolated and connected than we have ever been in the whole of human history. We spend all day tethered to the world, looking through our phones, always in constant communication and connection with other people. But a lot of times we're doing that from the safety and quiet and solitude of our own homes. The internet has a way of making us alone together, right? And it can begin to feel a little isolated. Ironically, because we're always talking to people. We're always seeing other people's thoughts and opinions and ideas. We're always looking through our Facebook feeds and our Twitter feeds and reading each other's blog posts, and yet we're doing it all alone, right? And the holidays are a way to help us feel connected again, to help us feel connected to something greater than ourselves. You see, these holidays, these traditions, they're important. Because it gives us a common history, a common set of experiences, right? And through these shared experiences, we have a portal to connect on a basic level with the people around us. It's part of what makes us a large family, the, the, the large cultural family of a nation, or just of a global kind of cosmopolitan citizenship, right? You know, people in other countries may practice Christmas in what feel like strange ways, but the way people practice Christmas around the world all kind of echo each other and still feel in some sense familiar, even though the practices may be completely different. And even if they don't participate in Christmas or celebrate Christmas, oftentimes there's some kind of celebration that still feels familiar in a way. Having these kind of shared experiences and these shared celebrations, it it's a way to be part of something greater. And if you're feeling a little isolated and lonely this holiday, I, I encourage you to, you know, go out and buy yourself a Christmas tree. Set up some lights, right? And just it, and feel like you're part of the world, man. Because you are. <laughs> right on. Oh, what's this? Santa Claus is back. That's amazing. How you doing, Santa? You want to get... My god, he's got a present for us early. That's amazing. It appears to be some kind of bottle. I think he wants us to play a rousing Christmas tune. Well, I don't know many of these here carols, kids, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Care to sing along if you know the words, by all means. Okay. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> Snow and stuff. <laughs> Sparkling, glistening toy, toy, toys. Yeah, Christmas is cool. Beautiful. See you tomorrow, kids. Stay frosty, and uh, uh, but don't be a snowman. They got that covered.